ان الذين قالوا ربنا الله ثم استقاموا تتنزل عليه ملائكته we will study all these sentences and analyze word by word inshallah huh? okay brothers and sisters oh, that we are going to understand later that will come hold your horses <laughs> it will come brother salman there is so much to learn and everything is so beautiful we will learn it inshallah step by step huh? okay are you with me brothers and sisters now let us do this his pen kalamuhu then kalamuhuma now look at the thing brother you can see there kalamuhum their pen kalamuha her pen kalamuhuma two of them kalamuhunna kalamuka what is the meaning kalamukum your pen kalamukuma kalamukum kalamuki kalamukuma kalamukunna kalami kalamuna remember you got to put dhamma there kalamuna kalamuna are you with me huh? okay so this is it brother now we come with min huh? there is a half jar we attach a pronoun what is the first thing we do menhu are you with me menhu and next one menhuma and next one menhum and then menha then menhuma then menhunna menka you got the idea menka menkuma menkum menki menkuma menkunna minni what is it ya mutakallam came minni and then minna okay brother what is minna i know that no jar majur mashallah brother salman okay no sister the the dhameer is attached to the harf char if the dhameer is attached to the harf char what happens jar majur so if i say min hu jar majur are you with me and if you say min ha jar majur if you say min ka jar majur min ki jar majur minni jar majur minna jar majur why jar majur brother because har jar is attached with the with the uh, dhameer okay are you with me and if i say to you haza masjiduna what did i say haza masjiduna okay what kind of a sentence is this mubtada where is the khabar masjidu wa huwa mudaf and where is mudaf ilai na are you with me brother it's very easy ha huh? inshallah tomorrow by tomorrow we will practice more you will be fine huh? this is another <coughs> nice thing we have to do it little advance so that when it comes in the lesson you will understand it beautifully inshallah then <coughs> there is a am a list is <coughs> you know we were doing mudaf mudaf ilai okay huh? so kitabu muhammadin baitu muhammadin kalamu muhammadin now if i say his house or house of his his pain how do i say brother i say baituhu kalamuhu are you with me so what is happening now that when the damir joins a noun we get mudaf mudaf ilahi are you with me brother say same way huh? <clears throat> min muhammadin are you with me min muhammadin okay from muhammad but we can change muhammad into pronoun and what we say minhu are you with me what is minhu 
Jarvano Majrur. And you can use 14 pronouns huh? in this way. Are you with me, brother? The same way we have Enda. Enda Al Mudiri with the headmaster. But I can change Al Mudir into who? What will I say? Enda who? What is Enda who? Zarf and Mudafili. So here is the rule, brothers and sisters. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get Mudaf Mudafili. And when the pronoun joins a preposition, we get Jarun Va Machururun. And when the pronoun joins Zarf, what do we get? Zarf and Mudafili. So here is a little song, brothers and sisters. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudafilehi. What did I say? When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudafilehi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun va majrurun. When the pronoun joins a zarf, what do we get? We get zarf and mudafilehi. Did you get it? Yes. Inshallah. One more time. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudafilehi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun, wa majrurun. When the pronoun joins a zarf, we get zarf and mudafilehi. Inshallah, you'll remember. Huh? And then I say, Baituhu. In other words, you can take a pronoun and join with any noun. And what will you get? Mudaf, mudafili. And you can do all those 14s with, you know, in it. Okay? Ready? Baituhu, baituhuma, baituhum. What did I say? Baituhu, baituhuma, baituhum. Baituha, baituhuma, baituhunna. Baituka, baitukuma, baitukum. Baituki, baitukuma, baitukunna. Baiti, baituna. Now you can do with anything you want. Okay, brother and sister. Kalamuhu, kalamuhuma, kalamuhum. Kalamuha, kalamuhuma, kalamuhunna. Kalamuka, kalamukuma, kalamukum. Kalamuki, kalamukuma, kalamukunna. Kalami, kalamuna. Rabbuhu, rabbuhuma, rabbuhum. What did I say? Rabbuhu, rabbuhuma, rabbuhum. Rabbuha, Rabbuhuma, Rabbuhunna. Rabbuka, Rabbukuma, Rabbukum. Rabbuki, Rabbukuma, Rabbukunna. Rabbi, Rabbuna. Alhamdulillah. If the pronoun, if the pronoun joins the preposition, then we get Jarul Majrur. Are you with me, brother and sister? So let's do a couple of them, you know. Minhu, Minhuma, Minhum. Minha, Minhuma, Minhunna. Minka, Minkuma, Minkum. Minki, Minkuma, Minkunna. Minni. Minna Ilehi Ilehima Ilehim Ileha Ilehima Ilehina 
then brothers and sisters alayya alayna and we should not forget brother li harf char and then we put dhameer who instead of li who we say lahu ready lahu lahuma lahum laha lahuma lahunna Laka lakuma lakum, laki lakuma lakunna. Li lana. Now, brothers and sisters, last time, zarf. Huh? When the pronoun joins the zarf, what do we get? Zarf and mudafilay. Remember, zarf and mudafilay. Ready? <clears throat> in the who, in the huma, in the hum, in the ha, in the huma, in the hunna, in the ka, in the kuma, in the kum, in the ki, in the kuma, in the kunna, in the in the na. Ma'ahu, ma'ahuma, ma'ahum. Ma'aha, ma'ahuma, ma'ahunna. Ma'aka, ma'akuma, ma'akum. Ma'aki, ma'akuma, ma'akunna. Ma'i, ma'ana. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. This will keep the concept alive in your mind, inshallah. Okay, brother, now we take a break. Huh? And then, uh, after 15 minutes, uh, after 15 minutes, we will study adjectives. We will study adjectives, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters, we are back to the class. We will be learning adjectives, which is called not. Huh? Now, if there is an adjective, then it qualifies a noun. Huh? So we call it noun qualified. Huh? What do you call in Arabic? Mana'ud. Okay, also it's called What is it called? Mausufun. Sifat mausuf. Naat manaud. But let us only try to concentrate on naat manaud. Huh? Okay. What is manaud? Manaud is noun qualified. What is manaud? Noun qualified. Huh? And uh, in English, brothers and sisters, it's different from Arabic. And Arabic is very precise. And when I understood, I said this is a really logical way of qualifying a noun. In English we say, good boy. What is good? Adjective. Adjective. But it came first. And the boy came afterwards. But in Arabic it will be, boy, what about it? It's good. So adjective will come after the noun. Okay, the noun qualified will come before it. Good boy is in English. Arabic will be boy good. All the time. Boy beautiful. Huh? Girl beautiful. Okay, it will come. The adjective will come afterwards. Now, there are four things you have to understand in adjectives. <coughs> there is a special relationship between 
adjective and noun qualified. Very special relationship. What is the first relationship? Huh? First is gender. What is gender, brothers and sisters? Masculine and feminine. Okay? So if manaut, noun qualified, is mourners, then the adjective will be mourners. If the noun qualified is muzakkar, masculine, the adjective will be masculine. Number one condition. Number, second condition, brothers and sisters. Number. What is it, brother? Number. If the noun qualified is singular, the adjective will be singular. If the noun qualified is dual, the adjective will be dual. If the noun qualified is Plural. The adjective will be plural. plural. Okay, that is the second thing. Okay, and then we have number third condition, brothers and sisters. Being definite and indefinite. What is it? Third condition is being definite and indefinite. If the manaut noun qualified is indefinite, the adjective will be indefinite. If it is definite, it will be definite. Are you with me? Okay. And now, brothers and sisters, what is the last huh? case ending? Dun dan din. What is last? Case ending. If the noun qualified manaut is marfu, the adjective will be marfu. If, uh, I will write down here, case ending. Uh, number four is uh, case ending. Uh, if it is, if the noun qualified is mansub, it will be mansub. If the noun qualified is majroor, it will be majroor. Uh, okay, brothers and sisters, are you following me? Now you watch. <clears throat> the adjective naat will come after manut. Huh? It will come after manut. Now watch for it. Okay? And keep your pencils ready. I always say uh, using highlighter is also an excellent idea. Uh, it helps you to uh, catch it when you are revising. It stands out in front of you. Man hadar rajulu. What is the translation? Who is this man? Who were Abbasun? What is it? Abba. What is who are Abbasun? He is Abbas. So who is Muftada? What is Abbasun? Khabar. One word. Huh? Mufrat. Fine. Abbasun Tajirun. Abbas is a merchant. Abbas Muftada. Tajirun. Khabar. Now. Abbasun Tajirun Ghaniyun. What is the translation? Rich man. So rich came in English first. But in Arabic, it will come afterwards. Abbasun Tajirun Ghaniyun. So Ghaniyun came afterwards. So what is Ghaniyun, brothers and sisters? Adjective. What is it? Naat. Where is Manut? Where is Manu? Tajirun. Eh? The noun qualified is Tajirun. Now, do you see the relationship in this, brother? Tajirun is Muzakkar. Ghaniyun is Muzakkar. Tajirun is indefinite. Ghaniyun is indefinite. Tajirun is Marfu. Ghaniyun is Marfu. Okay? Tajirun is singular. Ghaniyun is singular. Do you see the relationship? They have the relationship, they follow each other. Okay? Hamidun mudarrisun. Mubtada khabar. Hamidun 
Mudarrisun Jadidun. Are you with me? So what is Mudarrisun? Manaut. Where is the Naat? Jadidun. Can you see the relationship? Uh, inshallah. So please write down this somewhere in your notebook and then you can you can uh, reflect on it because this will help us all the way through a book and all the way in the Quran. It will help us. Mahaza. What is this? We don't analyze, only translate. Haza tufahun. This is an apple. At tufahu. Now at tufahu. Brother, haza mubtada tufahun khabar. Now we are talking about the apple. At tufahu. See, mubtada definite. Mubtada will be most of the time definite. At tufahu. What about tufahu? Fakihatun. Ladizatun. Fakihatun. Ladizatun. Okay, now you see. Fakihatun. Tun, tun, tun. Feminine. Huh? So the naat became tun, tun, tun. Okay? Ladiza tun. Okay? Are you with me, brother? Yes. Yeah. Uh, say loudly, sister. No. The manut will be first. And then the naat will come. In English, the naat comes first and manut comes afterwards. Good man. Huh? Good man. But in, in, Engl- in Arabic will be Rajulun Tayyibun. Huh? Rajulun Tayyibun. So where is Manut, sister? Rajulun. Huh? And where is the Nath? Tayyibun. Ma zalika, what is that? Zalika Usfurun. Huh? Zalika Usfurun. Okay? The, the, the bird. No, no, say it again, brother. No, what is tufahu? Mubtada. Where is the khabar? Fakiyatum. Depends. It depends. It can be anywhere. But the relationship is that there will be manut and then there will be anat. Anywhere, brother. Even even fine can be manut. Anything can be manut, brother. It has to be a noun. That manut can come as a file, can come as a muftada, can come as a khabar, can come as a ism majroor. Can come as a mudafilay and then not will follow. Okay? They, uh, they will always be together. Okay, remember we read in the lesson, I'm sure we read it. Al Madinatul Munawaratu. Al Madinatu Al Munawaratu. So what is Al Munawaratu? Not. Oh, where is Manut? Madina. Watch for it, Salman. It's it's not any way, it can come any way. Huh? Uh, what was the sentence? Aina Masjidur Rasulullahi. Aina Masjidur Rasulullahi. What was the answer? Huwa Huwa Fil Madinati. So what is Fil Madinati? Jar Majru. Now if the Madinati is Manut, the Naat will come. Al Munawara T. Are you with me? Huwa Fil. Watch this, brother. Huwa Fil Madina T. Al Munawara T. Munawara T. Now tell me, brother Salman, what is Huwa? Muftada. Where is the khabar? Fil Madina. Jar Majru. Okay, what is after Madina? Naat. It describes the Madina. Illuminated city. Munawarati. 
So, fi harf char, isam majroor, and then this is naat. Are you with me? Uh, sister uh, Mamuna, fi harf char, isam majroor, and this is naat. Where is manut? But we won't say who are manut, like we say who are mudaf. We won't say who are manut. We will just straight away say naat. But we know in our mind where the manut is. Because they must match each other. In these four conditions. In gender, in number, being definite, indefinite. And in the case ending. Where is the case ending? T. T. Got the idea? We will do a lot of exercise. Don't worry, brother. Uspurun, uh, brother and sisters. Sparrow. What is this? Uspurun? Chidya. Sparrow. A small bird. <clears throat> okay, brother and sister. Al usfuru tairun. See, tairun is muzakkar. Tairun sagirun. Okay, analyze it. Al usfuru mubtida. What is tairun? Khabar. And what is sagirun? Not. But we don't have to say anything more. But we know that manhud is tairun. And they both agree in these four things, conditions. This is the most beautiful sentence in the book. Most beautiful sentence in the book. Al Arabiyatu Logatun Sahilatun. Brother, believe me, this is true. Huh? You forgot how long it took you to learn English. People from Guyana, they speak from childhood because the English is the only language they speak. But if you are in India, Pakistan, how long it took you to learn English? It took a long time. It, you did not learn in one week or one month. It was years of schooling before you could even, uh, you know, speak. Huh? Okay, brother and sister. But, but as far as I feel, if you work hard, it's very easy. You will understand Quran because that is our objective. Speaking, if you understand the foundation of the language, inshallah, you will be able to speak a little bit. But if you happen to go to Middle East, you will pick up very fast, inshallah. Okay. Al Arbiyatu Mubtada. Okay, look at Al Arbiyatu. Is it Mu'annas? Yes. So Khabar has to be Mu'annas because Kharba also matches the Mubtada. So Lughatun. Now, what is the next one? Sahalatun. You can say Jamilatun also. No, the next page. I you okay, no. Huh? Lugatun. Huh? Sa so, what is Sahalatun? Naat. Oh, where is Manut? Lugatun. Can you see it? they are matching? Yes. Huh? Inshallah. Huh? Wow, you are going to the next page. Al Arabiyatu. Brother, this is very correct. Lugatun. Jamilatun. Huh? Arabic is a beautiful language. Arabic is an easy language. Huh? Arabic is an easy language. Arabic is a beautiful language. Ammarun Talibun Mujtahidun. Ammarun is a hard working student. Okay, but Ammarun Muftada. Talibun Khabar. And then Mujtahidun Naat. Halas. Huh? Are you with me, brother uh, Salman? Is getting there? Inshallah. Mahmudun Mubtada. Talibun Khabar. Kaslanu. Lazy. Okay? So what is Kaslanu? Naat. Naat. Huh? Where is Manut? Talibun. But that, it is Talibun. And it is not Kaslanun, it's Kaslanu. Because it is a diptor. What is it? Diptor. It's the same thing. It cannot have tanmi. Huh? So it is kasra nu. But it is marfu. It is singular. It is indefinite. It is masculine. Mananta. Who are you? Ananta talibun. I am a student. Ananta talibun jadidun. Naam. Ana Talibun Jadidun. Fine, brothers and sisters. Ana Talibun Khabar. Jadidun 
Na, khalas. That's it. There is manut. Talib. But we don't have to say. We understand. Huh? Because they match each other. Fine. Ikra waktu. Read and write. Muhammadun. Talibun. Kadimun. See? Muhammadun. Talibun. Kadimun. Muhammad is an old student. Okay? Fine. Adalika rajlu mudarisun jadidun. Is that part? Huwa tabibun jadidun. Huwa muftida. Tabibun. Khabar. Jadidun. Naat. Do you see the match? Inshallah. Abbasun. Tajirun. Shahirun. What is shahirun, brothers and sisters? Famous. Famous. It is a naat. Where is Manut? Tajirun. Where is Nat? Shahirun. Famous. Okay. Al Inglesiatu. English. What about English? Logatun. Sabatun. What is Sabatun? Difficult. So Sabatun is the Nat for English. And it is true. It is true. Al Inglesiatu. Logatun. Logan Sabatun. And it is true, brother. Okay. Bilalun Muhandisun Kabirun. Bilal is a big engineer. Huh? So Kabirun is your nat. Okay. Ana Rajulun Fakirun. I am a poor man. Huh? Sister Memuna, you have a question, sister? You mix hmm? in, uh, you skip in some side. Did I? Did I? I beg your pardon. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, I beg your pardon. Hada darsun sahlun. See, darsun is muzakkar, sahlun muzakkar. Hada muftada. No, khabar. See, badal has to come with. Azad Darsu. Are you with me? Okay, look at this, brother. Let me write it, huh? Let me write it. Haza Darsun Sahlun. Okay. Now, Sister Mamuna, what is Haza? Muptida. What is Darsun? Khaba. And what is Sahlun? Not. Now I am changing it. Huh? <coughs> now read it. Sister Mamuna. Azad Darsu Sahelun. This lesson is easy. Before, this is an easy lesson. What is the translation of this? This is an easy lesson. Are you with me? See? Remember Badal and Ismu Shara? The Badal will always be definite. Huh? If it is not definite, it cannot be Badal then. Huh? It has to be definite. Brother Sama? Number three being definite and indefinite. How do we have? Uh, is a hazard, hazard, darusu, sahal. Sahal. Sahal is supposed to be definite? No, I don't want to go in detail. Oh. You know, but I'm no, some. I know, I know, but yeah. Indefinite. Yeah, indefinite. Yeah. But here there is no nat. Oh, oh, okay. And there is no nat. Huh? The nat came here. Huh? The nat manut relationship was here. Huh? Okay? Huh? That is the relationship of Nath. Yeah. This is an easy lesson. Now, next one. This lesson okay. is easy. Got the idea? Okay. Yes, Sister Aisha. Say it loudly, Sister. Yes, you are right, absolutely. Here, Sahalun came as a Nath. And in this sentence, Sahalun came as a Khabar. You got to look at the sentence. Huh? You got to look at the sentence. 
like Sherlock Holmes, okay? <laughs> Magnifying glass, huh? okay? And then you will figure out what's going on, huh? inshallah. Now, again, I, I admire Dr. Abdurrahim. You see, this lesson has got two parts. What are they, brothers and sisters? The first part deals with adjectives which are indefinite. Huh? And the second part will deal with the adjectives which are definite. See, how, how thorough Dr. Abdurrahim is in his vision. No mix-up. Let us master indefinite. And then next lesson, the definite will come. Are you with me? So that is the beauty of these books, brothers and sisters. Huh? These books are wonderful, wonderful. At the moment, there is no better book. There are no better books to learn Arabic for non-Arabs. I'm only talking about us. Huh? These are the best books. There is nothing compared to this. Okay? Maybe somebody will write. But when some, somebody will write and when he will write, we will see if we are still alive. Okay? Fine, brothers and sisters. Hada darsun sahlun. Okay? Okay. Bilalun mohandisun. We did that. Anta rajulun ganiyun. What's the translation? Now, are you a rich man? Are you a rich man? La. Ana rajulun fakirun. Okay? Ana rajulun fakirun. Al kahiratu. Cairo? What about Cairo? Madinatun, that is your khabar. What is Kabiratun? Not. Big city. Huh? So Madinatun is Manut and Kabiratun is the khabar. Anta Mudarisun Kadimun? La. Ana Mudarisun Jadidun. Ana Muptada Mudarisun khabar. Jadidun na. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. A Hamidun Talibun Kaslanu, single Dhamma. A Hamidun Talibun Kaslanu. La. Hua Talibun Mujtahidun. Hua Talibun Mujtahidun. Hua Muftida Talibun Khabar Mujtahidun. Nath. Where is Manut? Talibun. See that? Look at them. It matches. Okay, brother. Da. Put in the blanks in the following sentence suitable not. Put in the following sentence suitable not. Khadijatu Talibatun Mujtahidatun. MashaAllah. See, now your mind can see how the not will come. Mujtahidatun. Huh? So then you can see Talibatun. Mujtahidatun. Excellent. That was beautiful, Brother Muhammad. Khalidun, Tajirun, Tajirun, Shahirun is correct, Ganiyun correct, but don't put Fakir. Tajirs are never Fakir. <laughs> okay? Tajirun, Shahirun is correct, and Ganiyun will be correct. Ah, ha, 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 ha. What a beautiful sentence. Al Arabiyatun, Logatun, Jamilatun or Sahalatun. Huh? See, Nath Manut matches. Huh? Alhamdulillah. Al Usfuru Tairun Sahirun. At Tufahu Fakihatun Lavizatun. Mashallah, Mashallah. Ana Mudarisun, what do you want to make it? Jadidun or Kadimun, whatever you want to do. Huh? Muhammadun Tabibun. Shahirun, you can say, Kadimun, Jadidun, fine, but now comes Al Inclesiatu. Al Inclesiatu, Logatun, Sabatun. Sabatun means difficult, and it is difficult. Anta Talibun, what do you want to say? Make him old or new? Anta Talibun? <laughs> that won't be fair. <laughs> And the Talibun Mujtahidun? Huh? Naam. And the Talibun Mujtahidun. Al Kahiratu Madinatun Kabiratun. Kabiratun. Kahira is the 
biggest city, Muslim city in the world, brother. The fil makan il khali fi jumlat il atiyati manautan. Now you got to put manaut here. Huh, brother, see how beautiful the exercises are. Okay, al arbiyatu logatun sahalatun. Ana, whatever you want to say. Do you want to make yourself doctor or engineer or a student or a teacher? And a Mohandisun Khadimun. Okay. Talibun, whatever you want to say. Ammarun Tajirun Ghaniyun, brother. Hada Kalamun Maksurun. Now make it into Badal Hada Kalamun Maksurun. Make it Badal Hazal Kalamun Maksurun. Now Maksurun is no more not. It became a khabar. Got the idea? Huh? Just like that, huh? inshallah. Next one, brother. Faisalun Talibun Kasla. No, single dhamma. Ikra, read, brother. You can also write it. Kasla, no. See, single dhamma. Lazy. Javanu. Hungry. Huh? Javanu is hungry. Huh? Okay. And atshanu, thirsty. Huh? And gadabanu, angry. Malanu, full. Full. Huh? Full. Something is full. Cup is full. Okay, brother? Ana, javanu. I am hungry. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Javanu. Single dhamma. Remember, single dhamma. It is diptot. Huh? Anta Jawanu, what is the translation? Are you hungry? What is the answer? La Ana Atshanu. I am thirsty. Mubtida Khabar. Okay. Limadha al Limadha Al Mudarisu Ghadbanu al Yauma. You have to translate, brother. And give me the reason afterwards. Limadha al Mudarisu Ghadbanu. I have an answer also. لِمَاذَا الْمُدَرِّسُ غَدَبَانُ الْيَوْمْ Why is the teacher angry today? Huh? Because he did not get uh, in the breakfast halwa puri. <laughs> His wife forgot to prepare halwa puri for him. Okay? So he became angry. لِمَاذَا الْمُدَرِّسُ غَدَبَانُ الْيَوْمْ How will you translate? Why is the teacher angry today? Fine. Al-Kubu What is Al-Kubu? The cup. Al-Kubu Mubtada What is the khabar? Mal'anu Single dhamma huh? Single dhamma Okay brothers and sisters Okay Al-Kalimatul Jadidatul Al-Logatu Shahirun Al-Madinatu Al-Tahiru Al-Yawmu Kaslanu Jav'anu Atshanu, Malanu, Ghadbanu, Al Usfuru. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. I think I will we'll do the next lesson tomorrow, inshallah. And we will continue with the lesson number 10. Brother, lesson number 10 will have most of the. We are doing and plus we did something. I want to do a couple of more things, brothers. Okay, I see here. Are you ready, brothers and sisters? Are you ready? <clears throat> we have seven minutes. What did I write down? Ummun, mother. What will you say? Ummuhu. Huh? Okay, what is Ummuhu? Fine. More than that. Mudah, mudah, file. Why? Whenever a damir is attached to the noun, the result is mudah. Are you with me? I think some of the sisters were quick to answer Mudaf Mudafli. Mashallah. Antunna Mamtas. 
You are all excellent, alhamdulillah. Huh? Antunna mamtazatun. You are all excellent, huh? mashallah. May Allah increase you in knowledge. And we brothers, to us also, inshallah. But I think you are deliberately giving them a chance to say. Huh? You know it, but you are not saying. Huh? You want sisters to answer so that... Uh, <laughs> But you know also, inshallah. I'm sure you all know it. Okay, 14 pronouns, brothers, quickly. Ummuhu, Ummuhuma, Ummuhum, Ummuha, Ummuhuma, Ummuhunna, Ummuka, Ummukuma, Ummukum, Ummuki, Ummukuma, Ummukunna, Ummi, Ummuna. Got the idea? Okay. Now, Abu. Abuhu, Abuhuma, Abuhum, Abuha, Abuhuma, Abuhunna, Abuka, Abukuma, Abukum, Abuki, Abukuma, Abukunna, Abi, and then Abuna, Abuna. Are you with me? Ahu, Ahuhu, Ahuhuma, Ahuhum, Ahuha, Ahuhuma. Akuhunna, Akuka, Akukuma, Akukum, Akuki, Akukuma, Akukunna, Aki, Akuna. What did we do here, brothers and sisters? We made Mudaf and Mudafilehi. Are you with me? Mudaf and Mudafilehi. Fine? And that Damir was in this particular combination. Majroor. What was it? Majroor, inshallah. So we will continue this tomorrow, brothers and sisters. And tomorrow, if I get an opportunity, I will write down, Alhamdulillahi, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawmiddin. I will write down, and you will try to analyze it, inshallah. Huh? Huh? Inshallah. Rabbana, Atina fi dunya hasanatam, wa fil akhirati hasanatam, wa kina adhab al-nahar. Rabbana, hab lana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata ayunin, wa ja'alna lil muttaqeen imama. Rabbana, la tuakhizna in nasina aw akhtana. Rabbana, وَلَا تَحْمِلْ عَلَيْنَا إِسْرًا كَمَا حَمَلْتَهُ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِنَا وَرَبَّنَا وَلَا تُحَمِّلْنَا مَا لَا تَاكَتَ لَنَا بِهِ وَأَفْوَنَّا وَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَرْحَمْنَا أَنْتَ مَوْلَانَا فَانْصُرْنَا لَلْكَوْمِ الْكَافِرِ